Hello everyone here at OS Reviews. You're watching our montage look at a collection of interesting, unique, slightly weird tech gadgets for under $30. This is our second episode. The first episode seemed to have a decent reception from you guys, so we're going to try out another one and see what you guys think about these products in front of you. So let's start with the first item, which is what looks like just a regular alarm clock. But the reason why it's on this list is because it actually has charging ports or two USB charging ports on the side. So here's the product advertisement, and it also has this mirrored surface, which apparently can also just be used as a regular mirror for makeup, for making sure your hair is all right in the morning. And otherwise, it has two USB charging ports for phones and tablets. So inside, we do have a separate kind of charging uh, adapter, which is rare to see these days. It just plugs into a USB port, so it means you can also charge this alarm clock just using a computer or using another existing USB device. So here's what the alarm clock looks like. We have a screen protector on the front, which we can peel back. There we have it. A very shiny surface, which indeed will act as a mirror. In fact, it's doing a perfect job at that. Um, it is going to track fingerprints, however, so it's not a touchscreen. If you get it dirty with smudges, it's going to show that uh, quite easily. On the top, there's an oversized snooze key. It's a little bit slim, but it has a good overall tactile sensation. Other side features the two aforementioned USB charging ports. This is the AC power port, and on the back, we just have the place for a backup battery. So the backup battery just ensures that the time and date information is saved in case the power goes out. So here we have it. This is what it looks like plugged into power. It almost has this retro look despite the very modern, slim uh, overall build, which is actually kind of cool. And it's still fully visible despite the fact that it has this mirrored surface. And even though we have quite a few lights on right now, if I dim the lights, it becomes even more apparent and easier to see, for example, in the dark, this is what it looks like. I believe you can also control the brightness uh, and adjust it in three different modes. It can also show time and date information in both 12 and 24 hour formats. Let's try doing a very quick charging test and I'm gonna just plug it into one of the USB ports on the side here over to this tablet and you can see that charging begins automatically. It's gonna stop charging once battery reaches 100% on each individual port. And of course, we have a very convenient USB charging design, which uh, means you don't have to have another separate charging hub by your bed. It's just a consolidated all-in-one look. And we can also remove the dock from the bottom here and that's what it looks like in terms of size. I would say about the same as kind of a six inch two by one aspect ratio phone. So it makes it actually pretty easy to take with you when you're on the go, if you wanna take an alarm clock and it just feels like a regular power bank in terms of size. Next item on this list is called Glyph Plus. And although this version is advertised to be for the iPhone 4 and 4S, it's a slightly older version. There are newer models that you can get for universal phones, including the newest iPhones and Samsung Galaxies. And it supports any cell phone basically up to 5.5 inches. It's kind of a clever design and basically it works as both a mini tripod for taking images and selfies as well as a stand for watching videos without having to hold your device. So this is a box. It's very eco-friendly. Even the newer versions come in boxes like this and they can be found on Amazon. We have two pieces inside and also a third piece which is made out of metal or aluminum and this basically screws in to act as a keychain holder. I'm not too sure who would actually attach this onto a keychain though because it's a little bit large in terms of size but if you don't want to be using this uh, you know, on a tripod or something Something, you can attach this into here and then put it onto your keys. And from here, you can just attach it onto a standard tripod for uh, shooting videos, time-lapse images with groups of people. You can also use the built-in cardboard as a stand. So as the packaging here says, this package turns into a tripod, technically a bipod. Align the two holes on the side of the box and poke the keychain thread through the inside and attach the glyph to the outside. It's definitely hacky and a little strange looking, but it actually does work. It's not meant for long-term use, however, because it's just made out of cardboard. If it gets wet and you keep on using it, it can lose it its strength over time. The serif does is basically just as an arm for giving you some additional uh, weight and preventing it from falling out. So you can put it through this hole on the bottom here and attach it firmly onto the top of the iPhone. So this makes everything you know, snap into place with a bit more resistance. Finally, the media stand function, we just thread it through the top of the phone basically, and there we go. It's now an arm that can work for holding the phone into place for watching videos. So that's the Glyph, really an interesting mini tripod and stand with a very clever uh, mechanical industrial design. Next product on today's list is the MYNT Cube. So this looks like a very kind of fashionable object, but it's 
basically just a cable weight. It still can be quite a useful gadget to have, however, especially if you, if you often fumble around with cables on a desk and you want to manage it in a more elegant way. This version is rose gold, so they are marketed mostly, it seems, for Apple products, but it flips open and this is what it looks like on the inside. Very modern, uh, kind of abstract looking product, and they even have different designs for their other shapes, uh, such as a sphere, kind of a polygon, and then this is the cube. Inside, there's not too much going on except for just the cable weight, which is, of course, very hefty because that's the whole point. It needs to stay in one place on a desk and even support, you know, a cable without tugging, tugging it onto the floor. And here's what the cube looks like. It's a very shiny, reflective surface. It is rose gold that matches the same tone as on your iPhone, and it is very hefty. The entire thing is made out of metal, uh, perhaps aluminum, and it even kind of acts as a mirror in some ways, but it does attract fingerprints very easily. So using it is, again, just really simple. Say I have this cable here, which obviously, you know, if I don't have anything holding it, it just falls right off the desk. But with this, I can just uh, pick it up from the desk and then string this through the cord and then now the cable will be kind of just sitting here for me to very elegantly plug it into my phone and then just release it when I don't need it. So definitely a very neat, elegant uh, gadget to have for organizing cables on a desk. Continue onwards, the next gadget is more meant for outdoor use. So if you're always camping and going on road trips, this may be something to consider. Basically, it's a tiny little mini burner or stove that allows you to cook things you know, with a pan uh, for heating food up. So this is actually much smaller than you'll probably find on other competing models, and it sells for under $20. It's called the CSB02. It also comes with a small carrying pouch, which is pretty neat. And inside, we just have the stove, which comes in a few different compartments, including this kind of outer catch and we have just the inner part where we can untwist this to basically put the uh, alcohol into it and you would set it onto here, pour in the alcohol, and that's it. The pan just rests onto the outer surface. What this little part is used for is basically for uh, having the flames turn off. So you cover it up, and of course, with no oxygen, the fire will go out. So this is a safety kind of latch. Just very quickly searching this up, you can tell that this is what the fire looks like. So it's a lot more effective than you probably would think. Obviously, the only downside is you can't really control the heat. You also aren't able to cook things for too long since it doesn't hold that much alcohol but it will be effective for just very quickly heating things up uh, when on the fly. And in this episode, we do have a few more accessories geared specifically for the iPhone and Apple products, so I also wanted to show you quickly a case that I thought was neat. It's not necessarily the one on top, but it's by a brand called CYVO Pop. And the reason why these cases are interesting, the cutout for the cameras are purposefully wider than normal. And that means it works with not only the iPhone 7 Plus, 8 Plus, but it also works with the iPhone 6 Plus. And that's compared to other cases. This one is an example from Desme. It's the slight, I believe this one is called the world's thinnest iPhone case, and they have it also for the iPhone 10. But you can see how this one has a much smaller cutout for the camera lens. And as a result, if you try to fit this iPhone over it, it's not gonna be functional because the lens will be you know, up here. So if you do have a slightly older iPhone, but you are planning to upgrade to another version that's the plus size, and you want a case that can work with both devices, then you can check out it. Uh, you know these series of cases. And next, something that is definitely not appeal to everyone. It's basically a waste pack or a fanny pack. It can hold a cell phone inside. In fact, that's what it's designed to do. This version in particular is only about five bucks and it has a cutout for headphones. Zip it up, wear it on your waist, and you're ready to go. So even though you're not able to now control the music per se, since it's in the case, you can always just unlock it and then take the phone out and then maybe skip tracks on the display. And we even have another smaller compartment on the side with a Velcro strap, so you can maybe store the headphones in here when you're not listening to them or you can store an extra battery or maybe some medicine something like that if you're hiking or going on a camping trip and there's another smaller compartment here that doesn't have a strap or something closing it up and the band here is elastic so you can actually stretch it to fit it over the waist of both men and women alike if you're a fan of pokemon this is a diglett inspired light even though it doesn't look entirely like the pokemon one-to-one -one, you press on it and it goes down and it pops back up to create this night light so it's pretty cool it sells on amazon for under 30 bucks this is what the packaging is like and you can use it for reading and also for some and again, ambient lighting in a darker environment. So this is what it looks like. The name is literally called Diglett Lamp. So 
Not sure if that infringes on, you know, any copyrights, but it says press the moles head to switch the lights on or off and you get a few different modes for the brightness. And it has a 450 milliamp hour capacity battery, which can be recharged in under two hours. And afterwards, you can turn it on for about six hours of use before you need to recharge it again. This is the brightest mode that you get, and it's definitely bright enough for some quick reading, uh, even in a darker environment. It's using LED technology. It's a very white light, so it's quite a pure colored light. It isn't tinted yellow or anything to create a more warm effect, but it's pretty interesting as far as the overall design is concerned. I can tap on this again once to turn it off and it basically pops in like so and just the eyes are revealed. I can tap on it once more, it pops up and slowly the light comes back on. Best reviews. So summer is in full swing and in some states it's actually very hot in this time of year. So we're going to take a look at an interesting fan that I found. This is by Haptime and this is interesting because it has one of the smallest designs I've ever encountered in a portable fan. In fact when it's closed it reminds me of a marker or a stylus pen so it's super easy to transport and you can take off the tip to have access to the blades which are made out of a silicon material so they're soft and harmless. You can see this is what it looks like and it uh, takes double a batteries to be operated the switch is on the inside just simply tap it onto on and it will start again the blades are soft so you won't get harm just by you know accidentally tapping it on your fingers or something like that and it produces a surprisingly good amount of wind so if you are about a feet or two away from it it actually produces the most wind if you're too close it doesn't have as much of the effect since the switch is on the inside, it's also not going to accidentally be triggered when you just slip this into a pocket or into a backpack, uh, which makes it extremely convenient. The only thing that's kind of lacking in its design is a lanyard strap. I would have liked to see maybe something at the bottom here, which makes it easier to put on a keychain or hold uh, onto your wrist. But at the moment, I really think it's uh, quite good. Again, about the size of a marker or a lipstick. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.